Hello YouTube, so we're gonna jump back into the Gemini API, but you know what, before I get started, I wanna kinda of cover what I've went over so far. So I've covered just getting started with the Gemini API. So it's kind of getting the API token, getting things up and running. So if you're if you're starting off, I'd start back and go there and then come back to this video. And then secondly, we've had a chat with the API. So like no images, just chatting back and forth. So if you wanna check that video out, check it out in the Gemini playlist. Today's video, we're gonna cover getting Gemini to look at an image and then generating responses based on that image. Really excited for this one. So. Let's dive in and take a look at it. So diving into Hex, so you can see the work that we've done before. Um, so starting off, going back to the uh, Gemini API documentation. So we need to import this package here and then we need to open our image. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy that code, uh, paste it in there. Our image is called christmaschewy.jpg. Um, so it's just a picture of my dog with some nice, um, some nice Christmas uh, attire on there. So once this loads, uh, you'll be able to see that in just a second. Um, and so what we're going to do is we're going to, so I'll parse off, here we go. So you can see there is the puppy, uh, excuse me, with his Star Wars uh, Christmas hat on. Uh, so we're going to get, we're going to get Gemini to talk to us about this image, which I think is really neat. Um, so let's see. So we've already, we, let's, we'll, gener we'll get our model here. Um, so, so I'm going to do the model underscore photo because uh, I have my other model up there and then it's Gemini Pro Vision. So we're going to go ahead and run that to generate that model. Um, so once that gets good to go, and then we're going to go ahead and just g let it generate whatever it wants to generate first, right? So this is just going to take that photo, um, and it's just going to generate whatever it wants, which I think is pretty neat. So I'm going to go ahead, uh, run that. Well, first we're getting it. Looks like we're getting an error somewhere. Okay. Okay. Got to rerun. Got to re repip install. Okay. So just a second there, and let, let's let this thing repip install. Um, this uh, Google generative AI. So let it let it uh, let it sit on idle for a few uh, a few two minutes too long. So let it let it reinstall here. Um, there we go. Rerun cell two, and it's gonna it's rerunning all the stuff, but that should be fine. So once it gets down here, it's gonna uh, grab that model there, that Gemini Pro Vision model. So again, going back to uh, the last video, so we have a Gemini Pro model that doesn't look at images. We have the Gemini Pro Vision model that does look at images. Um, and I'm going to show you the error that pops up if you try to send an image to like just the Gemini Pro model. Uh, but it actually tells you like, hey, like this model can't take in images, um, which I think is pretty interesting. So um, let's see. There we go. It's still running down all my StarCraft things. So I'm just going to stop that because I don't really care about that stuff. So let's go ahead and just rerun this well that should be good okay let's come down here let's do our gemini provision okay do this okay it's going to be like hey 400 image input modality is not enabled for gemini pro that's great so it's telling us hey something's wrong there and you can tell it's because we copied and pasted that code over we changed that to model photo there we go we're going to rerun this well it says a, a 500 error has occurred interesting okay let's, let, let's try to rerun it again Be great if their uh, APIs down to this morning while I'm trying to make uh, uh make some uh, make some content for this. Uh, looks like it's running better this time, so it does take a little bit longer to generate content off of photos. Um, so it says, "Look at me, I'm a Star Wars Mandalorian dog cat model. I'm so happy." Man, I mean, looking at the puppy, I think I would probably agree that it's it's that's how Chewie feels about the situation as well. Um, so you can see we can do some more things though and actually get it to actually write. Um, write some stuff based on some questions that we have about the photo. So you can see we send the image in. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I want to ask it, what uh, breeds of dog make up this dog? Um, so it's just gonna get it to, to look at the picture and say, hey, what kind of breeds? I actually have the DNA test from this dog to know what kind of breeds it are. So let's see how well it does. Um, so I'm gonna do a two markdown response to that text as well. Here we go, boom, send that off. Let's see what it has to say. Wow, I didn't get any air, okay. Oh, we gotta do models pro, sorry, or models photo. I was gonna say, I didn't get any errors when I tested this yesterday, but that's how it goes when you're trying to make something live here. Um, so go ahead, it's sending off that photo, um, getting off the breeds. Um, so again, sending it off. Uh, so it does take, like I said, a little bit more time with the photos than it does just generating the content on its own. 
So let's see. So the, so based on the DNA test of the dog, um, it's mostly German Shepherd, then Pitbull, Chow Chow, Labrador Retriever is like the top four. Um, obviously, with the most being German Shepherd, which you know you can mostly tell just by looking at the dog. Um, so that that's when I if Jim and I, okay. So look, it, it says it appears to be a mix of German Shepherd, which is you know forty one point five percent is German Shepherd of of Chewy, uh, and then you know eighteen point nine Pitbull, eighteen point four Chow Chow, and then a fourteen percent Labrador Retriever. It's pretty good. So let's 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 kind of go a little bit further here. Let's see, can um, let's ask it a question. Um, do you think this dog has any pit bull or chow chow in it? Okay, so that's the other two breeds that are part of uh, that, that Chewy's made of. So um, kind of send this off and see what it says. I, I, I actually didn't test this question yesterday, so... Um, so I'm excited to kind of see what uh what it's going to come back to and say here because obviously Chewy does have those two breeds in him. So um, let's see what it says. Uh, which you know, according to the trainers that I've talked to, it's basically based on the fact that you know just where we're at, where, like where we're located in the United States, most dogs have some pit bull or chow chow in them. Uh, so it says pit bulls and chow chows have very different physical characteristics, and as a dog doesn't appear to have any chow chow in it. It's possible that this dog could be part pit bull, but it's also possible. yeah. So, okay, so a little bit of a middle ground answer, but not not terrible. Um, it says it doesn't appear to have any chow chow in it, but you know what? What is unfortunate for Gemini that it's not a fair test for me is like you can't see how big he is, you can't see any of that stuff, which would probably help out in this situation. So, okay, so we'll move past that. So what we're gonna do now is I would like to let's see. So I'm gonna do. Um, can you make a Christmas story about the dog in the photo? His name is Chewy. Okay, so I'm just going to see if it can make us a, a, a nice little Christmas story since we're, you know, December 19th. We're getting close to Christmas here. Um, let's see if we can get it to make us a Christmas story about the dog in the photo. So I'm interested to see kind of if that takes, you know, more time per se. Um, and of course, you know, like the, one of the things that I was exploring while this is loading yesterday was kind of, can I have a chat back and forth with this about that? Um, and their API documentation um, is pretty, um, it's pretty straightforward about the fact that the, the vision model, Gemini Pro Vision is not optimized for multi-turn chat. So it does that, the, the, the vision model does not like chatting back and forth. So, um, of course, I didn't test that any, uh, but it, it, that's what it says in the documentation. So I'm just trusting them on that front. So, um, so you can see here that, you know, it made a nice story. I'm not going to read through that thing, um, but, you know, it made a, it made a full story. Um, <laughs> ended with Chewy went home with his owner and they had a nice Christmas dinner together. Chewy was so happy to have a new toy. He was even happier to have a loving owner who took care of him. Chewie was a very good dog, and he made everyone's life happier. He was a true Christmas miracle. Um, let's just hope that that's how he feels on Christmas morning with his new toys. But um, in this video, we kind of dive through Jim and I's, uh capabilities of kind of looking at a photo, um, asking it some questions about the photo, uh, just based on what it sees, and of course, allowing it to generate some content based on the photo. Um, so if you like this content, feel free to subscribe and like the video. Uh, if you want to see anything else with Gemini, if you have any questions or any other content you'd like me to make using uh, the Gemini API, feel free to let me know and I'd be happy to make it. Uh, just trying to make, you know, trying, trying to like open up the opportunities for people who maybe aren't as great at coding uh, to be able to uh, interact with these APIs. So, uh, so let me know what else you'd like to see and I'll see you next time.